Welcome back. Now we're gonna set up Firebase uh, for our next app, which is Movie Quotes. Pretty simple to do. Uh, you should have an account already. So what I want you to do is, like we did last time for favorite things, I want you to create a project. Again, I'm gonna recommend that you use uh, your username and then Movie Quotes, all right, something like that. And again, it's gonna go ahead and, and turn that into, uh, into a, a project ID um, that, that you can use. And in my case, uh, I've already done that. So I can go up to my, to my top level here and I see I already have a movie quotes. You already have one, so it's gonna bring you right into that, uh, like so. All right. So um, that's all, all we're gonna do for now until we get our app, uh, because as you remember, um, this next step right here, um, you know, if we do add app, it's gonna ask us some inf some questions about our, our Android app, and we don't have that set up yet. Uh, so let's um, let's just review a couple things. So the first thing is is that you actually don't need to do any sort of backend work. You don't need to set up table structure or anything like that uh, at a time. You can just push your data. Now it turns out I'm gonna give you some of this data to start with, just so it cuts down on the data entry um, and make th makes things a little bit more fun. So that's what we're gonna do um, do next. So go ahead and click in here, and you'll see that that um, that there's some data. This is just stored as a JSON file. So if we go there, um, let's see. So uh, we can put this wherever we want. So um, in my downloads. Um, so this comes from from um, from Tyler stuff. He put this together here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save that, and I'm overriding one that I already have. Uh, no big deal. Um, you can you can show it in your folder or whatever. And then we want to upload this guy. So uh, back inside our database. All right. Um, mine already has a whole bunch of stuff. I'm, I'm going to clear this out. Actually, you want to see how clear easy it is to clear your database? Hit the delete key. Oh my goodness, everything might go away. Are you sure? Yep. Okay, so my data is gone. All right. Um, so I'm going to go over here into the, the overflow. And we'll see that that I can do an import JSON, and you can see how data how Tyler created his, his data file. Easy enough, right there. So I'm gonna import, and then I'm gonna browse back to my downloads, and um, to this place right here. Click open, and of course, you know if you had any data, it would have it would overwrite it. Uh, I already blew mine away on purpose. So I click import, and there we have it back again, right? Um, no big deal. You can you can actually delete individual things pretty easily from here. So delete it, boom, gone. Uh, you can navigate your way around here. Um, so you'll see that the structure of this is that um, so it's set up so all of my movie quotes are inside this this quotes uh, node, and it has a bunch of children here. Um, these guys right here are just auto-generated IDs called push IDs. Um, that are created. They actually have a timestamp embedded in them, um, so it kind of keeps things sort of ordered by time. Uh, and let's see, if, if I click on anyone, then you'll see that it, it, it will kind of zoom you in on that part of the database. And we've got some, some, uh, some breadcrumbs up here. All right, so I can back off you know, to quotes or back off to the whole thing, right? Um, I could did like that. We can go in as, as far as we want. We can even go into an individual movie, right? Uh, so, so very cool, right? So we have this data we can play around with and we can kind of get an idea as far as the object structure here. Uh, so every movie quote is just a couple of strings, right? So it has a key assigned to it and then the object itself is just a movie and a quote, right? Uh, if we wanted to see what that looked like um, in, um, in JSON, uh, this is just sort of a, a standard JSON format here. Um, for those that aren't familiar with it, you can kind of kind of look it over and, and pretty intuitively you, you figure out what's what's going on there. Pretty straightforward. All right, very good. Uh, so let's go along with our, get our slides caught up here. Um, I think the next thing we wanna do is uh, do some rules. Um, now the rules on this, um, we set up some that were a little bit more complex. Uh, we're not really gonna get into rules all about that much. There's a link if you're interested. Uh, they're actually in the process of changing their rules. Right now the rules are also follow a, a JSON format um, and they've messed around with with a couple of different um, ways to compile this or whatever. Um, 
uh, and they're actually in the, in the midst of, of making changes. So I'm not gonna focus on them too much. If you wanna copy and paste them, um, you can. And here's a little bit of information if you're interested to see what they're gonna look like. Um, you, just, you just go in here, right? Um, but feel free to just copy and paste from here, all right? And into, into your app, uh, or just even just keep it as read, write, true. Doesn't so much matter, all right? Uh, so I'm gonna go into my app or excuse me, not into my app, into my console, in rules. Um, after all that, I didn't have to anyway, because I already did this. All right, um, great, but yours will show something else. Go ahead and, and, and paste in what we got here. Uh, and if you make a change, you can you can test it out. They also have a neat little simulator. Um, so if you wanted to see, you know, what if I went to write to the quotes path and a certain, you know, random push ID, and if I were to pass in a movie and a quote, um, you know, would it, would it work, okay? So you run it and it says, oh yeah, it works, right? Um, what if instead of it being a string, what if it were a number, right? And it, and you know, we actually had a validation tag in here that makes sure that that um, that the movie is a string, so that doesn't work. Um, so a little bit of protection to make sure that the that the um, the app developers are are giving us stuff in the right format. Now, of course, we're the ones setting up the the uh, the backend, and we're the app developers so we can communicate with ourselves and it's probably not as as, as important, um, but certainly uh, it'd be more important if you're developing a web app, right? All right, uh, very good. So that, that's what we have for, um, for rules there. Uh, in fact, what we're gonna do uh, in our next lesson is actually set up a web app, totally optional uh, if you do it or not, um, but it's just a, a good way to give you another view into your data before we start messing around with our Android app. All right, so see you back for the next lesson. Mm -hmm.